Hi, so the next part in the series, I'm going to be showing you how to browse through the track ticketing system. This is track version 0.12. This is a pretty fresh install. My user account is a web admin, so I have the admin tab, and you'll see a few editing buttons here on the side. So let's go over the ticketing system and how you can actually browse through it. So click on the view, view tickets tab. First one we have is active tickets. So we can click there. Now here's all the tickets we've already put into the system. They have things such as the title, you know, summary, the component, in other words, which part of the site or project are they dealing with? The milestones, in other words, these are ones that we define for ourselves on a weekly basis. You can do a monthly basis or a quarterly basis. What type it is, is it a bug fix, is it a task, is it a you know, feature request? Who's the owner, in other words, who has it been, who is creating it? And then what status is it so far? So you can sort by all these, which is really nice. I'm going to sort by component. So, so we have the backend systems first, basically just groups them all up together. Next, we have milestones. Now, these are the ones I've created because we tend to release once a week or so. So, I want to have that prioritized by that. And you can do based on owner. So, here's mine right here, Apollo. So, that's the way you can browse most tickets. Now, as the system grows, you're going to have tons and tons and tons of tickets, and you won't be able to use the active ticket system view much. So, you can break it down even further by milestone. So with this one, number three category, <coughs> you have, these ones have not been assigned to any milestones at all, so they show up first. So here's ones that I'm going to try to be doing sometime in the next week or so. So it covers on table of contents, homepage modal, product for short changes. And then the ones that we get after that, we get after that, we get after that. So that's a really convenient view to get a broader overview of the project. You can do it by uh, owner. So there's no owners in the system right now for now. This is the one most developers are going to use. You know, active tickets, mine first. So here's the ones I am concerned with right now. These ones right here. Now, one thing you can do too is you can actually slice and dice, and you can actually make custom queries for these. So if you don't like the way they're being sorted, you can go to custom query. So you can say you know, owner is, or you can add other filters. So I'm going to do component is backend systems. So there we go. So there's the filters. You can add more here. Do ors. And you can do group by, well, I'm doing component is, so you can group by, I don't know, say milestone. Descending. All right. And let's save this. So we're going to call this one Backend Systems. So you can add a description here if you want to. I usually don't. Now you notice here is that you can either use SQL or you can use the track expression, which is what they've done here. So it's kind of like a modified version of SQL. Click uh, Save Report. And boom, there you go. Port has been created. So these are all the extra tickets relating to the backend system. And there it is. Well, oh, made two of them, so I see we're going to get the other one. So yeah, that's how you browse the tickets. And there's much more videos in the series, so feel free to watch those too.